people. <laughs> Black Christmas, 1974. Hey, I am so excited to check this movie out because I love the fact that there's so many horror movies that's tied in with holidays. I've been meaning to watch Black Christmas forever because, yo, it just sounds like it's fire. There's also one for uh, a Valentine's Day one, right? I want to say Happy Death Day, my bad. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it's also like a Valentine's Day one, a Thanksgiving one. I'm about to say Halloween, of course. <laughs> when I made the decision to take my channel in the direction of movie reactions, Black Christmas is actually top three, one of the movies I have written down that I just have to check out before I die. I know there's like an early 2000 version. I think there's a recent one as well, right? Within the past year or coming out, whatever. Regardless, hey, I've heard many great things about this name, so I'm about to go and check out Black Christmas. But I'm not gonna talk your ears off any longer because I'm ready to jump into this myself. If you wanna check out the full movie reaction, with no edits, minimal cuts, that link will be in the description below. Huge thank you for supporting the Patreon. Also, do me one more favor, click that like button for me, run the video up in the algorithm, that way we can keep on dropping these movie reactions. But other than that, let's go ahead and check out Black Christmas. Yo, we jumping straight into it. Christmas song sounds so creepy. So it's like a frat house. By the way, how come I was the only one there working tonight? We were there this afternoon, Bar. Have you got your Santa Claus suit ready? Yeah. What time the little bastards arrive? <laughs> Hello? Pardon? Bob, it's for you. Long distance. Oh, great. Hang on, I'll take it in the other room. First, it was kind of funny hearing him breathe through the mask, snorkeling it all, but the more you hear it, it's kind of creepy that way because it's real, man. No, no, um, I have some stuff to do in the afternoon. And then I was just going to get the, the 720 train into the city. Put the Christmas music back on. I feel like this is about to be good, man. I'm waiting to see that first kill, though. You want to go skiing for a few days? Yeah, sure, Bob. My mother's taking a place up at Mont Holly. Does anyone else want to come? Great. How about you, Claire? Uh, no thanks, Barb. I've made some other plans. Hello? Hello? Hey, quiet! It's him again! The Mona! He's expanded his act. To go find a wall socket and stick your tongue in it. That'll give you a charge. I'll stick my tongue up your pretty butt. <laughs> Creep! I'm going to kill you. Hey, that was eerie as hell, man. That was sick. I really don't mm -hmm. think you should provoke somebody like that, Barb. You can't rape a townie. You really are too much, Barb. Oh, come on, this is a sorority house, not a convent. What, uh, I don't know that lingo. Damn, what, what is it? She said a townie? 
Because she said you can't grape a townie. What is a townie? Yeah, I don't think that was just a moaner. I wouldn't mess with no one like that. And what made it really creepy about me, I'm looking up a townie real quick. What made it creepier for me, though, because I just saw this uh fact not too long ago. Statistic, I should say, I guess. Basically, it was saying one of the many things serial killers have in common is pornography. They're over-sexualized and shit. Native or resident of a town. So, wait, if that's correct, why does that mean you can't? Let me go back. <laughs> My bad, I was trying not to scream in your ear. <laughs> I don't know who I just choked, but that's tripped me out. I think he was gonna get her. Yeah, and they won't hear her too at a party. No, please. Put it on. Anything for you girls? Because it's Christmas. Damn, it took her back to the attic so they won't even find her. There you are. Hello? Hello, it's Jess there, please. Yeah, wait a second, Peter. Jess, it's for you, it's him. I just want to talk to you. Why don't you tell me now? Because I want to talk to you face to face. Jess, I haven't been to bed in three nights. I'm just not in the mood to be playing games. <laughs> she got drank here and everywhere. <laughs> Claire? <laughs> sorry, I should have been keeping a better watch on. I think so. <laughs> yeah, well, I said I was sorry. You see, I was supposed to meet my daughter here at one o'clock. It's, it's half past now, and she's still not here. Her name's Claire Harrison. Do you know her? Mm. Yeah, I think so. I know she lives in a sorority house. It's it's called um. Ho ho ho! Shit. <laughs> Santa, please. Look, she's supposed to be going away with me for the weekend, God. Yeah, and I've been looking forward to this for three weeks, bitch. Hey, hey yo. yo. I just don't know, Mr. Harrison. Her clothes are all packed and ready to go. I bet you'll find her over at the common room. They're having <laughs> a party there today for... Party for underprivileged children. I'm very disappointed in this atmosphere. I intend to do something about it. Peace. Who's this? <laughs> uh, uh, that's uh, a friend of Claire's, a very nice young man from the town, uh, Chris Hayden. As a matter of fact, I could show you the way. I, I have to go to a store near there. College to drink and get over sexualized. I'm mean, exposed to sex. Yeah, the things you are exposed, and not for everyone, but the things you are exposed to during college life is wild. Is that you, Claude? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> she ain't gonna. Me too. Finish her lipstick. Here, kitty. Oh, God damn it, Claude. 
applaud, you little prick. Oh. <laughs> Damn. I'm pregnant. <laughs> yes, that's fantastic. I don't want it. I want to have an abortion. Yeah, that's what she wanted. Like that. That's what she wanted to talk about. I thought she was about to break up with him. Don't you ever consider anyone but yourself? I've thought this out very carefully, and I know what I'm gonna do. Why did you just get out of here? Damn, and broke the news to him on this big day. I take it. Ah. I want to talk to you tonight. There's nothing to discuss, Peter. I think there is. I'm not gonna change my mind. We'll see. Will you be there at nine o'clock? Yes. Okay, I'll see you tonight. <laughs> How we go from I'm off in the baby, no you not, we'll see, but it's my body, my choice, to you gonna be here at 9 o'clock? Yeah, I'll be there, all right, bet. <laughs> Boy, it ain't wild. That was crazy. <laughs> Hello? Hello? <laughs> she be so loud. Oh, hell not again. Billy? Billy? Um, I'm sorry, you have the wrong number. What your mother and I must know is... Where did you put the baby? Please? You've got the wrong number. Billy. Look, I'm telling you, you have the wrong number. What your mother and I must know is... Billy! Oh, Mrs. Matt, there was another one of those calls just now. Oh, what there, dear? The moaner. It's a uh, fellatio two o eight eight o. It's a it's a new exchange. F E. It's a new one on me. Thanks. Don't mention it. She is free. Chris, have you seen Claire today? No, she went home. No, she didn't. No one knows where she is. Serious? I thought maybe she was with you, or at least you might have heard from her. Damn, his head all effed up, huh? Hopefully they Stephen King fans, <laughs> bruh. There was a bad practice over at the high school this afternoon, and, and Janice plays a clarinet, and uh, they hadn't seen her all day. She's only 13 years old, Lieutenant. There's a certain species of turtle that can screw for three days without stopping. Yeah. No, really, they just three days, 24 hours a day. <laughs> I went over and I watched the zebras because they only take 30 seconds. <laughs> Sloppy drunk. Well, that's what we're all thinking. Why doesn't someone just come right out and say it? Barb, dear, you've had too much to drink. Mm -hmm. Mr. Harrison. I don't give a shit about Mr. Harrison. I'm sick and tired of everyone in this house. Hey, I ain't gonna lie though, she's playing this drunk role real well, because this is believable. These damn emotional roller coasters that she's on, first starting off Jolly Ali and then playing the victim, and now I'm angry, upset because everyone blaming me. Aw, uh, dog. It's like, I don't think they're blaming you, but you're annoying as ish right now. These people are annoying. She might have made another serial killer. Most likely came through this park on her way home from school today. Spread out evenly. Don't bunch up. There'll be two sets of dogs leading the way. Stay out on the flanks. The fumes will mess up the dogs. And don't go more than 10 miles an hour or you'll be no use to us. <laughs> For real, though. <laughs> hey, this is a good movie so far, dude. That's an eerie feel. All right, I hear you. Claude? Claude? Where are you? She about to find that body. How'd you get up 
in the attic, Claude. All right, goddammit, you can wait. This dude is crazy, dog. Referring to Billy. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I mean, not... your friend is missing. I would think at one point we want to we would want to report these creepy ass the Mona calls. Like, yo, we've been getting some wild calls. You might want to look into that. Uh, yes, hello. Um, I've been getting obscene phone calls, and I want to know what can be done about it. Come on, dog. Peter, Jesus, you scared the hell out of me. Claire Harrison is missing. I was out with a search party looking for her. Yes, hello? How noble. Sir, how noble. How did the recital go? How do you think it went? Peter, what kind of a game are you playing? Little girl was found murdered in the park. What? The search party that was looking for Claire found a little girl murdered. Now listen, Jess, I know you're upset. Now, I've lived in one room for eight years, and I'm tired of it. Ooh, I bet. I'm quitting the conservatory, and we're getting married. You told me about your wanting to be a concert pianist. How it was your greatest dream. And I told you about some of the things that I wanted to do. Oh man, so he done crashed out and threw his entire dream away over her and she was well aware of how big of a dream this was and how long it was a dream and decided to tell him on that day. Yeah, they yeah, they both wild. Hell no. You could be married. You could still do anything you wanted to do. Peter, I don't want to marry you. A high school girl's been murdered. Mr. Harrison's daughter is missing. And now at the house where she lives, the other girls are getting obscene phone calls. Don't you think we ought to look into it, Nash? <laughs> you back there, crack it up. <laughs> So I take it he really don't know what fellatio means, at least for the movie. He really don't know what fellatio means. You selfish bitch. You're talking about killing our babies though you were having a wood removed. Now can you see why I didn't want to tell you? What the hell are you trying to do to me? What are you doing to yourself? You are not going to abort that baby. Peter, you're not going to tell me what I can and cannot do. If you try getting an I abortion... I said get out. You're going to be very sorry. I would like to put a tap on your phone, but we'll need your written permission to do that if it's okay with you. Okay. 
And I'd like to see Claire Harrison's room. Oh, where's the telephone? Uh, there's one in the living room and one here in the hall. Do you have any emotional problems? Anything like that? No, not Claire. Who is she seeing besides Chris Hayden? No one. Well, so you were the last one to see her sometime this morning. Last night. Oh, did he tr try to catch her up? Can I get a list of their phone numbers where I can reach them? Sure. There's one in Mrs. Mack's room. Uh, is there anyone else in the house right now? Uh, yes, another girl, Barbara College. She's upstairs asleep. Um, she's not feeling too well. Is she the one that was at the station today? Yeah, well, let her sleep. <laughs> let her sleep. <laughs> Are there any other phones in the house? Uh, yes, the house mother has a number. Yeah, but it's room. another number and there haven't been any calls in. You're going to have to keep this guy on the line as long as possible. I know it's not very pleasant, but... Uh, girls, can I show you something? We've got one of our men in it, so you've got nothing to worry about. Yes, they do, because he's in the home. Graham's nearly ready at the switching station. Now, when the phone rings at the house there, this one will ring too. The transmitters have been removed, so uh, we won't pick anything up at all from this end. <laughs> Yo, those scenes with him are creepy as shit, dog. <laughs> She waiting for it to ring now. <laughs> I'm just gonna ask How you gonna be talking all that shit and got asthma? I dreamed a stranger. She gonna have to talk to him, huh? I'll call you back in a little while and we'll go get him next time. Bernie, yeah, call it up. I know what the... son of a bitch. Fucking got an ass full of bird shot. Yeah, and I'm gonna make son of a bitch pick every one of them out with his teeth. They ain't wanna take him to the hospital? <laughs> they brought him back to the station? Son, you're gonna get the gun up your ass. Sideways. He repeated almost word for word what Peter said to me tonight. Couldn't it just be a coincidence? Oh, God, Phil, I don't know. I'm so confused. Look, are you sure that cop's still out there? Yeah, he's there. Oh, look, Peter, don't cry. We can straighten things out. There's nothing to get so upset about. <laughs> Jess, we can't kill David. Please, Jess, we can't, can't kill David. Peter, where are you? Please, Jess. You know how I feel about the baby. 
baby. Don't do this. Stop this, Peter. You want a baby. I know you do. I don't want to hurt this baby. Peter, please tell me where you are. Jess, are you telling me the truth? I've got a feeling you're holding something back from me. Now, I don't want it to be Peter, but if it is... Was Peter with you any of the times that you got one of these calls? Yes. Yes, he was here. He was at the house tonight when the first call came. That's right. It couldn't be Peter. Phil, it couldn't be Peter. He was here. Well, he's obviously upset about something. I'd like to talk to him. Can you tell me where I might reach him? Thank God. I knew it couldn't have been Peter. Let's not be so sure just yet. Yes? Do you want one aspirin or two? Two, please. Okay. search party. Well, we wondered if you'd seen anything peculiar tonight. Well, not until you got here. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> Did you know there was a girl killed in the park tonight? <laughs> yes, we heard. Uh, don't be afraid. We'll be around oh, to see okay, that you're safe. Thank okay, you, very Remember to lock those doors and windows out, eh? Okay. <laughs> And it's not looking good for him either, so like he had a little anger moment, which he did, but. Oh, that's the other phone, huh? Sir, they say they got a trace on this one. Yeah, let's have it. He says the calls are coming from number six Belmont Street. For Christ's sakes, Nash, you got it wrong. That's where the calls are going into. That's where they're coming from, too, sir. Oh, shit. Jennings? 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 Jennings. Jennings, where the hell are you? Damn, like he ripped down. Be calm. Don't tell her that the guy's in the house. Just tell her to put down the phone and walk straight out the front door. I'll be there in five minutes. Nash, if you blow this, I'll kill you. Ooh. This shit is good, dude. You're pink cunt. Where's the baby? What a that cut. Phil? Phil, where are you? Uh, Miss Bradford, uh, this is Sergeant Nash. Are you the only one in the house? Phil and Barb. Phil and Barb are upstairs asleep. Why? Now just put the phone back on the hook, walk to the front door, and leave the house. Okay. I'll get Phil and Bob. No, 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 don't do that, Jess. The caller is in the house. The calls are coming from the house. Jess! Jess! She ain't gonna want to leave her friends, though. Phil? 
feel. Shit. That door. Yeah, what she said. I'm jumpy as hell, my bad, dog. That's a creepy basement. Is that Peter? He gonna get him. Jess, is that you? Jess? Peter either the killer or he third imposter and like a mofo, dog. This dude creepy as hell. Give up. She don't want you. But he might end up saving her life, huh? Or a second imposter, and I should say, I'm used to Among Us. What are you all yelling about? Jess, you had me worried. What are you doing down here? I thought he got both of them. I knew it in my gut it was that kid. Why would Peter start killing people? Hey, the Bradford girl being charged with the Hey, Come on, hang on. Hang on. Yes, the girl's father's upstairs, but he can't tell you. Would you keep it down, please? We've got a sick girl in here. Come on, get out. Come on, move. Come on, Ashley. You see that everything's wrapped up? All right, Lieutenant. Will do. Hey, Lieutenant. Jesus, what's the matter with this guy? He's suffering from shock. We have to get him to the hospital. Can you get us a car, Nash? found those bodies and the crazy part is is she in the window I mean it is one hell of a window I knew it wasn't Peter dog he was just being so damn clinky and weird
Hey, this was good. I ain't even gonna lie, dude. I'm excited to watch the next ones now. And I think it's like, it's like two more, right? Oh, that was amazing. Let's see if anybody answered the phone. Uh, yup, yeah, because that's the 2006 version. Ah, nothing. So Jess ended up killing Peter, huh? Which he honestly had it coming because he was second imposter in like a mofo. The way he was going about handling things, it was just, yo, know, you're being, you're applying pressure a little too hard on people. So when she, he was coming at her, like he kind of plunged her. I couldn't tell because we got like a jump cut. But maybe she took that as, yo, there's a killer in here and I think it's you. Won't get rid of you. Which to me would make sense. When the dad had went to shock, I thought they had found the body, but I guess he understood at that point it's just going down in this area and in this home and my daughter was last seen here so obviously i'll probably go into shock too but man he kept referring to himself as billy at least i think he was referring to himself as billy but i couldn't connect what he was doing he kept he kept mentioning the same thing about words you put it's like he was saying words you put the baby or some ish like that as well and i don't know if he was that's also the thing why i kept wanting to blame peter as well but Either he just hate that ish and knew that's what she was doing, or it, I feel like maybe Peter was a part of it because I don't think the killer was ever identified, right? I will say this, though, because I do enjoy when you guys leave these fun facts or theories in the comments. Definitely leave those in the comments. However, though, if it's anything that can mess up the next ones, because I don't know if it's a continuation or a remix or whatever, if it's anything along those lines, lines then please don't do that but if there's anything from this film that i missed or we y'all feel like yo this is what happened this is what people are saying happy blah 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 definitely leave that i'm cool with that but other than that i'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here and enjoy my day you do the same thing also if you want to check out the full movie reaction no edits minimal cuts that link will be in the description below huge thank you for supporting the patron also click that like button for me run the video run the video up in the youtube algorithm i appreciate you